So I found this image, this illustration, a new one. I think it's like for the a toy of Goku MUI. Found it online, Japanese writing everywhere. It looks official though, something the anniversary. Don't know, fifth anniversary, 15th anniversary? Not sure. It's a figurine, but it's cool image of Goku, Master Lord's instinct, and he's absolutely jacked. So I thought I'd draw it. Landscape page, pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start with his eyebrows. It's done manga style. So we just start with the eyebrows. So we'll go center point of my page about here, up a little bit, a little bit higher than halfway. And we're just going to tick a line, a check mark. All right, kind of square end. And then we bring it back into the front. And they're actually pointy in the manga. So they just go like pointy like that. Same on the other side. Check mark. Square end. And then bring it back down. And you get thinner as you go, making it pointier down towards the front like that so no sort of w in the middle so then short line long line for the eye and then you just join those together like so iris quite big in this big half circle and then the pupil there and then you just color it black same on the other side short line long line and then just join it together with a curve well it can be straight or curved and then iris half circle just there and then pupil Heavy frown, so he's looking up at us like that. Okay, so nose sort of here, this kind of like hook kind of a thing. And then the shadow, they always draw it in. This kind of diamond on the side, just there. And then we have the cheek lines that Dragon Ball characters have on their cheeks. Like so. He does have a bit of a forehead line there, actually. Can't see the other one because it's under hair. Right, and then his mouth, real close to the nose. Just kind of flat and then turn down at the sides, like so. And then shadow underneath the bottom lip. Just like that. His chin, square enough. Like so. So in terms of proportions, roughly like here to here is about the same as here to here. So like chin to the nose, say like the tip of his nose there. It's about the same as tip of the nose to like say his pupil in here. So that space and that space are about the same. And nose, tip of the nose to like this bottom line shadow, this bottom lip shadow, about the same as bottom lip shadow to chin. That's your rough proportion. So then you go for the jaw. Up there, about, stop about mouth level underneath the corner of his eye. You can go up this side as well, same thing. Up there underneath the eye across from the mouth because that's where you're going to change and go up the side of his head like that to there hair right so big goku mui hair spikes covering some of his face so we'll just start here and work our way around so one this way then a big one 
coming out from kind of the middle, say here, kind of that V here, and then this goes up around. All right, so it covers that front of his head. And then the next one comes out this way. And then we go back up this way. there and another small one sticking out here like that his ears then stick out from underneath these hair spikes so when they're you know big ears in dragon ball they're not small like that and then you can add some ear lines inside like so there there like you can add more lines and stuff inside if you want. Every manga or anime does ears different, which is really interesting to me anyway. <laughs> no one else finds it interesting. Right, and he has some like hairline textures just here as well, just going up underneath his hair like that. So the rest of his hair, right? So we've got like, he's jacked, right? So his neck like comes out here, right? Real big. Nearly touches his ear. Right, and then we have small hair spikes. We'll come back and finish the neck in a while, but we have the small hair spikes that get us started for that big Goku hair. It's a one there. Then they gradually kind of get bigger as we go up okay and he has like a cluster of four then he has a round part and then like another cluster of five or six over the other side so big one here and then all right and then another smaller one here then we have this round part of his head and then all the other spikes that go this way and some behind his ear on this side. So, some might go off the top of my page, but we'll fit in whatever we can. One here, like so. Another one kind of in the middle. Now this is drawn differently nearly every time. This one will go off my page. There. And then another quite large one coming across here. back down into there so then this spike will come back down like that right so that just goes to like a point up there if you have room for it and then another one coming down this way and then another one goes this way That. Okay, and then we just have to add texture lines like all over. So basically, you add lines like this that sort of follow each shape of hair. Okay. Right, this kind of a thing. And you can add more than me or less. So I'll just do this now. Okay, so I think that's enough for me. Now, we'll go down and try and do this, all this anatomy, okay? So we've got neck muscles that come this way. All right, Adam's apple in here. So his trapezius muscle there, all right? Very wide. And another one there. Right, so that's just his traps, it's not his shoulders. Right, so then another neck muscle there. And another one here. And there as 
well in there as well. Okay, so the center line for its chest is like here. And then this comes down around like so. And this kind of becomes his shoulder muscle as well, right? So we're different sort of more details kind of there. And the top of his chest will go this way. And we have like some muscle fiber lines. Same thing on this side, basically. And like a nipple there. And like muscle lines there. So then his chest is like connected to his shoulder, like so his shoulder like comes up this way. But it's not the normal way they draw it. So it's like these bumps, right? These deltoid sort of muscles. Three of them like that. And then there's another one. It's like you can see the rear delt back there. And then there's like another neck muscle here. Okay, so like the little hatching marks and stuff, right? So really wide, see that now? Not what we're used to drawing with Goku, but it looks cool, okay? So deltoid muscles there. And we try and do this over here. Right, these sort of bumps for his deltoid muscles. Different both sides. Okay, and then the rear one there. And then we have like some more neck muscle lines there. Now, so that's his chest and shoulder, chain of anatomy, all linked together, right? So now, arms are over his ribs, so we do the arms first. So his biceps will just come down this way, okay? Okay. And then his triceps out down and we bump again and then his forearm bumps again there so another chain of muscles going that way and then here here and here so then in there we have bicep lines another sort of line there and then tricep muscles going this way as well. Right, and like bicep muscle there. Like this kind of a thing. Another sort of muscle that way. And then his forearm starts here. So this is like muscles as well that way and then his abs right so we can just see his side body coming in here and then his like hips there this is like his back and then it meets his hips like that it's a real bodybuilder physique right and then his ripped gi classic goku sort of ripped gi just bumping across here that right and then we have all abdominal muscles inside here so he just has this little v in there and you can add like just the three lines that go down the middle like that and then you can do lines off them sort of like this So 
like ridiculously muscular. Like so. Is that his belly button? I'm talking to myself now. They gave him a belly button, I think. But difficult to maybe there. Oh, there should the belly button. Not sure. It's kind of like broken lines and stuff. They're not like all completely joined together. And then we have some lines coming off for like his oblique muscles, like this, coming down here on the side. And then here as well. There. Here. There. And here. And of course, if you want an aura, feel free to add one, and I will. Because he always looks better with an aura. Okay, Goku, mastered, ultra instinct, jacked version, <laughs> crazy big. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.